everyone! For the last week or so I've been working on a pan flute trainer. On the first day I modeled and printed a test pipe for version 1 of the mouthpiece trainer. When the print was finished I found that the hole was covered with strings of PLA and all the air escaped out of the front when tested. I finished version 2 of the pan flute trainer on the same day, but the print failed near the end as the internal base of the pan flute needed supports. The manual supports didn't seem to work however, as version 3's internals were still collapsing. Or as you can see here, parts of the piece were not printing at all. Next I tried to analyze how to print the pan flute trainer without it failing. When printing base side down, the internals of the pan flute trainer would fail and require internal supports which was not preferred. Whereas printing mouthpiece side down, the base of the pan flute would collapse and cause version 2's issue again. It did occur to me to try to print it laying down flat, but due to the curvature of the pen flute, it would take 17 hours to print at the lowest setting. It also looked like the print would fail according to the slicing software. I eventually decided that the trainer needed to be printed separately from the pan flute for best results. I got to working on version 5 of the pan flute trainer and then printed it. After printing version 5, I noticed that the space towards the top was still not showing up during the print. There was also a lot of internal stringing as you can see here. I made the pan flute trainer version 6 from nearly the ground up because there was something wrong with the internals. Unfortunately version 6 failed much the same as the others with its internals collapsing. I made some adjustments when creating pan flute trainer version 7 and printed it with supports this time to see if it made a difference. Version 7 ended up failing as the rings that were meant to lock the trainer into the pan flute snapped off along with the supports. I tried printing version 7 of the pan flute trainer without supports and mouthpiece side down this time. Much like the previous versions, version 7's rings snapped off far too easily. I made and printed version 8 of the pan flute trainer, this time with thicker rings and another lip. I printed version 8 mouthpiece side down with no supports. It had some internal stringing which was easy enough to remove, and the rings looked good and weren't flaking off like the last time so I tested it in the pan flute. Version 8's rings were great thanks to the additional lip, but when inserted into the pan flute the actual trainer started snapping at the back so I needed to thicken it. I made version 9 slightly thicker and with another retaining bar on the side that was splitting and printed it. It's still a bit stringy but perfect. It can be slotted in and out of the pan flute fairly easily. The last step in the process is to adjust the pan flute to work for the pan flute trainer to get the notes right, which is what I'm working on now. And that's what I was up to this week while making a pan flute trainer. Thank you so much for watching!